Hi, I'm Kira Westwick from Kira's Wholesome Kitchen. Today I want to show you one of my favourite soups. It's my Thai Super Green Soup. It's perfect for when you feel like having a reset day, maybe you've indulged a little too much over the weekend, um, or just for a really cold winter's evening, um, or when you're doing a cleanse or a detox, it's perfect for that too. So we're going to start by adding a tablespoon of coconut cream. I really like to use this brand, AM's Coconut Cream, because it's 100% coconut. Um, and as long as you don't shake the can, you can take the cream at the top. And we're going to do what's called cracking the coconut cream. So I'm going to place the coconut cream over the heat on the stove. And I'm just going to gently warm it until the oils separate. And that's what I'm going to fry our curry paste in. If you don't want to do this, then you can absolutely just use some coconut oil. Once the coconut cream is cracked, we're going to add about three tablespoons of green curry paste. You could definitely make your own, which I really enjoy doing um, quite often, or you could just buy a really good quality one, making sure that there's no additives or preservatives or anything unhealthy added in the paste. So we've fried the paste for a minute or two until it's really fragrant. It smells really beautiful in here. So I'm going to add the rest of this coconut cream. Two cups of filtered water. You could use stock if you prefer. And one head of broccoli and one zucchini. And we're going to place that back over the heat and simmer it really gently for 5 to 10 minutes until the broccoli and the zucchini are just tender. You definitely don't want to overcook this. You want to keep it really green and vibrant. Our broccoli is tender, so we're now going to add a cup of baby spinach leaves, just for some extra green, and a cup of fresh coriander leaves. You can really alter this soup however you like, depending on what fresh produce you have in your fridge. That's what I love about it. It's really adaptable. So we're just going to wilt that down. And now we're going to whiz it up to make it nice and smooth. So we're just going to season it with some lime. Everything tastes better with a bit of citrus. It just brings alive flavours. And you can do that to taste. And that's it. How simple was that? We're going to serve it up now. It's another thing I love about this soup is it's so effortless and quick to prepare. Especially if you find a really good store-bought curry paste. Green foods really are the most nutritious foods on the planet, so this soup is super nourishing. You can serve it just like that or you can take it to the next level quite simply by adding some fresh herbs, some sprouts and some shredded spring onions. I've had them sitting in a bowl of cold water with ice so that they're nice and fresh and crispy. And I've also got some fried shallots and chilies which I've just done in some coconut oil. And to be extra fancy, I've got some black salt here. Of course, normal Himalayan or Celtic sea salt would work just as well. And there we go, Thai super green soup, perfect for winter detoxing or just generally health and well-being.